I think that Dabo Sweeney is too principled to evolve into college football as we move forward. And I, I'm not saying that as a diss to him. I mean, he's very, very hard-headed about what college football is, about what his program is going to be, and he's not going to compromise for that. This is a guy who will not allow commits to go on other visits. That if he takes your commitment, you can't visit another school or they cut you, even if you're a four- or five-star guy. This is part of the rule at Clemson. No other school gets away with it, and I applaud him for somehow pulling this off. It's one and, thing if you're getting, defending national champion. It's another thing if you look like you look like science. Recruiting classes, getting great recruiting classes and all this. Um, he's clearly built something that's special at Clemson. I have serious doubts about his ability to withstand what's coming with NIL, with Transfer Portal, with everything else. This is a guy who has mocked all of these things and does not want to embrace any of it. And I'm watching them and thinking, if you're going to be this hard-headed about your offense, he, promote, he promotes Brandon Streeter to offensive coordinator. He comes right back with, with DJ as quarterback this year. And everything that we've seen him, he stepped in a number of times, talking about NIL, about players getting paid, about transfer portal. These are all problems that many college football fans have with the game. But when you are the one tasked with bringing in talent from high school, you should not be saying these things about the future of the game because that's where it is now, and that's certainly where we're headed. It's inevitable. I've got doubts. So while you were saying all that, what's, what's entering my head is, it sounds like a guy that needs to wind up in the NFL. Because if, if you don't want to deal with all of that kind of stuff and just coach ball, well, there's a place you can do it, but it's on Sunday, not Saturday. The problem is he's, he's no NFL coach. No, I don't think so either. But I mean, I, that's I, I where you cannot just, deal uh, with that kind of stuff. He's more a boys guy than a men's yeah, guy. Yeah, he's more like an FCA president high school coach before he would be an a NFL coach. I think he's, he's way more into that part of it. Uh, than, than, than just being Shaping the football X's and O's coach well, that, part there, of it. You know, uh, the uh, crystal ball would say he needs Nick Saban to retire so he can go to Alabama. But Nick Saban's a good comparison point because Nick Saban is Adapts. older, much older than Dabo Sweeney, and Nick Saban is as old school as they come deep down. But guess what Nick Saban's not doing? He's not talking about not using the transfer portal. He's not thumbing his nose at NIL. He's talking about guys getting seven figures in NIL, his quarterback at Alabama. He knows how to adapt and play to a game. changing game. He was outspoken about the speed of offenses being a threat to college football. And when he realized he couldn't stop it he with the fast. NCAA, yeah, he started running that offense, and he dominated doing it. I, I, I don't think Dabo's going to adapt that way. 